Hello, my legion. Before I start, yeah, I just want to mention something that uh, I know some people, like myself, including in uh, the wrestling talent, mentioned this, and Patrick Barton mentioned this that YouTube's been having problems. We upload our videos, and then all of a sudden, right before it's done, it, it won't process. They'll say your video has been queued or whatever it is, and process as soon as possible. I remember I, I downloaded, I uploaded some videos. It was like 24 hours and they still weren't uploaded. So I canceled them. I redid it. I've had to do that. And then uh, Wrestling Talent said he had a problem with his, uh, I think it's Friday the 13th. One of his Friday the 13th videos. And now Patrick Barton, he had a problem with that uh, mother's noodles and mom's noodles and uh, mom's chicken and noodles uh, soup thing that he did. And then he did a test video. And I saw the test video, and I just, <laughs> it was just like a four-second test thing, just when he was having the other one queued in that uh, process before his other one did. And it said it took him 15 hours to process that video. I probably would just cancel it and try it again. But, I mean, that's up to him, you know. Uh, but sometimes that won't help any. You know, I don't know. YouTube's been screwing up. And like always, Patrick Barton's awesome. You know that. And uh, also, uh. Cat W Magic sent me a, a thank you uh, personal message for, you know, making that spoof video, you know, when she was having problems. And, you know, I, I text her. I mean, I text her. I uh, sent a message back, but you know, I just wanted to say uh, on here, you're welcome. You know, you know, when you sent me the package, which I'm going to do a review on there now, uh, you know, I teared up a little bit because I'm not used to people doing such nice things for me. And when you were having problems, I wanted to make sure I did something nice for you. At least on the video, I just had to fi figure out how the heck to do it. Because I, I, I wasn't going to buy any makeup. I just had to figure out a goofy way to do it. And I, thankfully, I had that figurine, so I was able to do it. But uh, you're welcome. You really are. And thank you for being my friend. And speaking of uh, Cat W. Maddie, I'm going to do another review from the awesome package. She sent me. But you, you mentioned that. And these are the rockets. Both sizes. The, teen, the tiny ones. And uh, the bigger ones. See. Now I got two of them. One. And I ate a couple of these ones. <laughs> but two of them. And then here are the American Smarties. Which are the rockets. See like the, this is the mommy and daddy rockets. And then they adopted the. Uh, little smarties right here and they had all these babies right here baby rockets right there well, anyway let's uh review this oh before i forget i want to show off the world's smallest ketchup bottle see that i got this at grove city i know a tent was saying he's from grove city and they have like a hershey store not hershey the what the hell a hind store it has nothing behind merchandise that sells ketchup and mustard there and t-shirts and stuff. Every time you go in there, they give you a, a ketchup pin. See, it's a pin on the other side. And a pickle. I can't find the pickle, but if I go back there again, you know, I'll get another. And that's free. The pin and the pickle, the ketchup and the pickle are free. If I go back there, you know, if I get a pickle, I'll show you the pickle. I can't find it, though. And if I do find it here, you know. I'll let you know, it's just so small, but I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. And it, like I said, it's just a little, if I don't drop everything first, it's just like a little pin thingy. See? Oh, well. I'm here to review, like I said, uh, Rocket. And in America, of course, they're known as Smarties. Because I didn't know they were called Rockets till I told, till Cat made that video about the, the Smarties from Canada. And I forgot about them, but, and then, uh, seeing the commercial, that song is really addictive for Smarties. And, like I said, these are the Smarties here. I mean, these things. And then they're called Rockets and Camden. So, let's try one of these. Yeah, Rockets Candy Company. These, they call them candy rolls. They're like little compressed powder pellets thingies. Something like, uh, I'm well, not spree, there's, uh, Sweet tarts or something like that. Sweet tarts are good. And spree's good too. But these have a... Let's try one of these out. If I can open them up. 
let me let me compare. See, rockets, real bright, and then Smarties. And Smarties is a little bit lackluster looking than the rockets. The rockets look a lot brighter, you know. Okay, let's open them up and try. If I can get them open. Now after this video, I gotta get caught up on some of my videos. I'm watching that American Pickers one there in Italy. It's really good so far. What do you look like? Mm. Mm. Good blast of powdery sugar goodness. Mm. Really good. I love them. But, like I said, when doing this box of treats you gave me, all it's all moderation. So I got to do maybe one or two things a day. Like, this will take me a while. I'm not going to mow down all of these in one one night. There's no way. I mean, I have one at a time. They're awesome, though. I love them. They're really good. Let me see if it's in my mouth. Yeah, drink the pop. The combination fizzles a little bit in my mouth with that sugary snack. A little bit. Now, some of the candies I have, they fizzles a lot. But not as much with these. Let's try the regular American Smarties. And they look the same, you know. Pretty much. Pretty much the same thing. Well, actually, I like the rockets a lot better. And, you know, one thing I never thought are the giant rockets. Let's try these babies out. And she was nice to send me two rolls. And then, like I said, and I cried some when you sent me this stuff because it's so nice to you, you know. And it's real powdery, right? Look at that. Real thick. And get some of the powder on my fingers. Try some of that. It looks like a... Not like, not like an Alka-Seltzer tablet, but... Mmm. So nice and tart. I love these things. Mmm. Excellent. Good tartness. And young and old alike. I love rockets. Good candy. They're better than the Smarties in America, believe me. Let me tip my... It didn't hold up that much to pop. But these, those are awesome. I love them. I'm just weird how they uh, call them uh, rockets in overseas and then, uh, well, outside of the States and then the States they call them Smarties. It's just like horror movie sequels. I mean, I love monster movies and horror movies and stuff like that. And there's some legendary things about horror movie sequels that are, some of them don't really exist. And well, I'll tell you about when Dawn of the Dead came out, George Romero's Dawn of the Dead came out in 1978. It made money. It was an international success. It went through the roof internationally. You know? It may, it was successful in the States. Because I didn't see that till like, much later. till like, 84, 85. Uh, through, through, uh, VHS. And VHS was popular at the store. But uh, that was a great movie. And the weird thing was... In the, in the States, of course, it was called Dawn of the Dead. Overseas, it was called Zombie. And then when Lucio Fulci made his zombie movie a year later called Zombie, it was called Zombie in the States, and overseas, it was called Zombie 2. So sometimes now you rent Zombie 2 in here. It's not a Zombie 1. And then the sequel to Zombie he did is called Zombie 3. Well, he did like the first 10 minutes, then Bruno Matti, I think that's how you pronounce the name, took over and did Zombie... 
the second zombie, which is actually Zombie 3, which isn't as good as the first zombie, which is actually Zombie 2. The best part in Zombie 3 is the part with the uh, machete-wielding zombie. That was cool. That zombie, that was probably the coolest zombie in any movie, I think. That zombie didn't take no crap off anybody. You know, but that was going on for half a minute, and that's the part, that's the scene everyone else talked about. Most other people think that the rest of the movie is kind of silly. That's Zombie 3, now. That was done in 1990. I remember reading about that in Fangoria when I was in Germany. I never saw the movie till three or four years later. It was hard to find around here, you know, in Germany and stuff like that. And so that's weird about that. And also it's known as uh, Zombie Flesh Eaters, I think. That's from that Buck Who Was Bonsai guy was telling me about that. It was called Zombie Flesh Eaters. And also another weird thing about horror movie sequels, there was a movie House that came out in 84. I remember renting that when it came out. And then House 2, The Second Story, which was uh, a PG-13 uh, time travel, modest, modern horror comedy type thing. That actually, my nephew watched one. It was wasn't scary or nothing like that. And I saw that in uh, Fort Gordon, Georgia, when I was during AIT, and that was a big hit there. And then a movie came out a year or two later called The Last Horror Show with Brian James and Lance Henriksen about like the serial killer who gets executed and then comes back to life. In the States, well, in, I, I saw it in Germany, but I mean, in the States, it was called The Last Horror Show. Overseas, it was called House 3. You know, I don't know why. And then all of a sudden, uh, when I got out of the Army in 80, 90, 1993, House 4 came out. I was like, House 4? Where's House 3 at? And I remember in, in Fangoria Magazine, they said, how can there be a House 4 when there wasn't a House 3? But House 3 technically does not exist. But overseas, the last horror show was known as House 3. Just like, technically, there was never a zombie 2. There was Lucio Fulci's zombie, and then he did a sequel to Zombie, which is called Zombie 3, even though it should be called Zombie 2. You know, it, it gets confusing, but, I mean, I think you get the idea. Well, anyways, I'm going off on a tangent again. I highly recommend these rockets. These are awesome. These giant ones are super cool. And these ones are awesome, too. And Cat W Magic, I think you're a awesome lady, and thank you very much for everything. And I, you're very welcome. I'm glad I could do something for you too. So we do stuff like that. We're friends and stuff. And I've met so many great friends on YouTube. Patrick Barton, you know, his one of the nice guys. He said he said I was the guy to get him started on his videos and stuff, which is awesome. Cause I remember all of a sudden, all my videos, all of a sudden I came home from work and. He had like three or four comments like, who's this guy? Because I'm so used to some of my Irish friends I had that now aren't subscribers. I don't think they like my food review thing or something like that. But I just had the Irish connection and then all of a sudden Patrick Barton and then all these other great people. I, I've gotten so far. I, I, can, I can always use more subscribers. But I've gotten so far into subscribers and stuff like that. It's awesome. And uh, shout outs also to Patrick Manzo who's starting a... a Food review channel. He did a couple videos. He stuck up for me on, on one of the videos, a shout out video. And the coolest thing, he did the one review that all us food reviewers should have done first. He did a review on Prilosect over the counter before he started on for heartburn. That's what we should have done. I didn't even think about that. That was a great idea doing doing that as your first review, a you know, pharmacy review on heartburn and stuff like that, because. You know, a heavy guy like me, I get heartburn. I get uh, my, uh, oh, and, uh, well, I get omniprazole. I get that from the VA for free. So I And they mail it to me. So I have to go down there. So that's awesome. But, no, that was a great review on Prowlis. And then he did a sports uh, drink review. And then he said he does construction. He's a pretty, pretty big guy, you know. He's a cool guy. And shout out to, you know, like, Travis and, and Miss Cavalier's been commenting a lot on my videos. She's a really nice lady. She's cool. And, uh, oh, Super Lady Sheba. I felt bad. That she had a thing about the paranormal and that dream she had. And then I felt bad about her dog that got hurt. And, uh, and can't put a comment on there also about her Kiki and stuff like that. You know, it's touching, you know, what she put down there, too. I didn't. 
leave a comment after what Kat said, but I did read what she said. And uh, Pat, I'm, I'm losing my track. Josh Sorrells and Joey's World Tour, Rocco Raymond and Jig Ignacio and uh, Travis for, you know, and all, everybody's been so awesome. And got the Munchie Show. They've been awesome. i got to say one thing to Patrick. Uh, that that noodle, chicken and noodles thing looked awesome, but whenever you took that stuff out of the can, that looked like that pickle relish stuff they had on when they opened up the jar. I'm not picking on you, but it looked like that pickle relish stuff when they opened up the jar in that uh, pickle lily or whatever it's called on the Got the Munchie Show when they looked in it. It looked just like it. I'm sorry. But no, the, what you made looked really good. I'd like to try that chicken noodle soup. See, I should have bought those egg noodles when I had the chance. I didn't think I'd have a chance. I should have bought those. It was like buy two, get three free. I don't know why I didn't buy them. I had the money. My sister bought them. I, did, I have like a whole ton of pasta, so I didn't buy them. So. But that would have made sense. I could have used those in that recipe. But. Oh, well, I'm getting... I'm going on a tangent, but you know, like I said, I highly recommend the rockets, the teeny tiny ones. They're awesome, and the giant big boy ones, and then they're they're really good. But it's like the flavor on this is fantastic, and then it seems like it's intensified with these giant ones. It's really cool. So uh, until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. Keep your stick on the ice, and take care of my legion. Well, I really went off on a tangent about this. See, why I get talking, you know. It's just insane. Oh, and also there's videos. Uh, no, I'm not for the government shutdown. I'm, it, it's just crazy. There's videos of the veterans uh, taking down the veterans to their, uh, to the veterans. There's scenes of the veterans taking down the barricades to some of their memorial, the w, World War II memorial, stuff like that. It's touching. And as a veteran, you know, it pained me that, that they put up barricades in the first place, you know, because of the government shutdown, you know. I mean, I'm not trying to leave on a negative note. I mean, you know, I saw the videos of the veterans, you know, taking it down. and Good for them. You know, they fought for our country. They shouldn't have to put up with that, you know. Anyways, I'm still in a good mood. So, uh, until next time, take care of my legion.